So if you as a new owner want to hire the best and the brightest and know what you're getting, you have to get involved in these internships. Dr. Johnny Garcia is a big advocate of internship programs. Over the years, he's donated tens of thousands of dollars to help fund the Hampton Roads Workforce Council's paid summer internship program. And over the years, we've hired people that just didn't tend to work out. So we figured the best way to do it is to groom young men and women. And what we found was mentoring and interning creates better employees. He says it's up to the company to ensure that the intern gets the most out of the experience. You know, the bad internships means they bring in interns, they sit them in the corner, they have them go get coffee or whatever it is they want them to do. Good internships is where I've dedicated resources, I've dedicated people uh, and time to mentor these young men and women. If you don't give them the direction, then you're not gonna know what you need to know to be able to hire these kids in the future. Before this internship, I really hadn't had a lot of experience with uh, coding or working with computers, really. And so after this, I, I basically know how to code uh, in Python, and uh, I'm a lot better with computers than I was before. For years, the Hampton Roads Workforce Council has connected the region's workforce with area businesses through internships. Christina Brooks says it's a great way to grow a strong economy. For the next generation of our workforce, we create programs and initiatives that give them the opportunity to learn new skills, to find out what those jobs are going to be in the future, and figure out, do they really want to do this one, or would they rather do something different? We run everything from paid internship programs to in-school college planning classes. Not only do the internships help strengthen the economy, but they're changing lives in the process. At the beginning of my internship, I didn't have a license, I didn't have a GED, I didn't have a car, I didn't have a job, and I didn't really have a home. Um, and so it's been about six months, and in that time, I've been able to gain all of those things. I didn't really know what I was capable of. It gave me a lot of confidence. So no matter what the setbacks that I had had in the past, I was able to continue on and, and make something of myself. And while the technical training is great, good internships offer so much more. From soft skills like communications efforts to showing up to work on time, just, just the, the skills that, we, that you can't really be taught in a classroom. I value this opportunity as like a way for me to get some more work experience under my belt so when I do go out and do get a job, I'll have a little more of experience. And it also gave me a little taste of how like the healthcare side of the workforce is, because that is what I want to do. Take a chance on somebody. Get back to a, a student who may not have the opportunity to get into a workplace. You're, you're helping them grow their futures. I would encourage all businesses to take that internship and really help mold the future workforce that we're trying to develop here in the region. Don't just dream about your future. Try it on for size.